morning, everyone, and welcome to our latest episode of the Katya Design Talks. My name is Honorata Frings. Today, we will take a closer look on DeltaJet, which is a standalone solution for high-end visualization. My guest today is Ugo Barbalata, Katya Design Industry Process Consultant. Welcome, Ugo. Hello. It's so great to be here. It's great to have you here. So uh, let's start. Maybe we can start with you telling us a little bit about the story of the Delta Gen solutions. Yes, so Delta Gen is a high-end visualization software that was developed by uh, the company named RTT. And RTT was acquired in 2013 by Dassault System and became 3 side brand. I see. And what is Delta Gen used for usually? So Delta Gen uh, was mainly used for marketing and sales purpose and allowed to create a master model of any kind of product. The master model, as you see here in some example, is what we call the 150% model. 100% is what you see from a result product, one configuration you purchase, and the remaining 50% uh, as your the configuration options and after sales part. All video, brochures, and online configurator consume Delta Gen content, from example. I see. And how does Delta Gen enter into design engine and engineering domain now? Yeah, so, yeah, so that's a crazy story. Over the time, company uh, using Delta Gen realized that this master model can be reused in their design and engineering departments. So, for example, to study a model year of a car, a special series to celebrate an anniversary or uh, its upcoming facelift. As visualization offer to study earlier more and more complete and complex product, design and engineering department started to use Delta Gen for the first created surface with stylist, and then with technical data from engineer to the final production part of OEM and supplier. I see. And how did Delta Gen become a trusted solution for OEMs and suppliers? Uh, it became a trust solution uh, thanks to advanced rendering techniques with physical base calculation and performance gain uh, that enabled them to, to do perceived quality and advanced simulations. Delta Gen embeds our in-house Stellar render engine, which is physical based and support physical create materials, behavior like scan material from x write companies with XF file formats, also photometric space with uh, for correct luminance sources, and physical light units integration. This is really cool. And the, the images are amazing. It's really photorealistic. It's so great. Um, and, but Deligent offers some fun and freedom as well. So you're not just doing, you know, the, the stuff that you have to do. What can you show us to um, highlight this a little bit? Of course, that, um, we claim that it's physical based from the engine uh, for design engineering, but also you have freedom. Um, you have freedom for style purpose with the support of substance material with S-bar file, for example. We have um, some um, amazing uh, rendering techniques with denoiser, and we are able to do artistic tweak on the camera with glare and tone mapping, for example. So you can create nice presentation with animation and flying cameras around your model. You are free to ideate on, on materials and product behaviors. Cool. This is really awesome. I like the tool a lot. How do, um, how do customers manage to create their 3D models and make it look realistic? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's a whole process. So today, customers have the need to study the whole diversity of the product which are becoming more complex, um, which again increase the time to build the master model um, manually. So we answer this need with a robot tool named Delta Batch, which automatizes the model preparation and creation from your CAD data into a visualized model that you can review and render. We also support them to create the best materials and surroundings that fit their expectation mm -hmm. and quality standards. So we have one target implement physical accuracy and get a realistic model that gain trust in random content that is used for production and real-time use. Cool. How do car manufacturers use Delta Gen today in the product development process? Mm -hmm. Can you... the, the earlier you study your Delta Gen models, the more impact uh, it has on your product development. 
by helping you to choose a material, the shape of a surface, how to assemble your parts, or if some elements could disturb the consumer. Some of our customers has removed 80% of the physical mockups that was used to approve a design, a material application, or a trim definition. One mockup cost between 300,000 euro minimum, and it needs three months to be delivered. With DeltaGen, you review your design at any time you make your choice and you save millions on research costs. That's really quite a saving, especially in time and uh, yeah, in, in, in money. It's amazing. Yeah. Which use cases do you do they perform daily to uh, remove these physical mockups? Uh, you have various various of use case. Um, from the start, it was a classic review of a product with a functionality check. Um, for example, doing annotation, section, and measurement for check and approval process on, on, on your model. Uh, define the great strategy of the product with stream and color management and associated suppliers. You can also achieve a view and ergonomic for the consumer experience and perceptions. Uh, also, light visualization of headlamp and tail lamp to check their style appearance. Hmm. One, one more, it, it's interior mode lighting and, and screens uh, to check how the driver will perceive them and how it could be disturbed by them, by how much light and luminance they will send to the driver or how they will reflect into a windshield, for example. Right, right. Do customers have a specific infrastructure to review the 3D model? How can you do um, that? Yeah, yeah, of course, we, we support various uh, various infrastructure and hardware like HMDs um, to do VR uh, scenarios, but also we support power wall and cave uh, for advanced scenario and interaction with the 3D model. So we help the customer to define um, the best Delta Gen family product that mm -hmm. will serve them the best, depending on the infrastructure and the use case, uh, the need they want. Some products work for real-time review, for an headset, for example, and also um, for retracing and global elimination simulation scenario. So in that case, we have product to support the clustering system. Right. And how is DeltaGen evolving to face customer needs? Ah, yeah. so we hear daily from our customer what they love in our tools, uh, the use case they perform with it, and new ones they want to achieve. So together we study the possibilities that DeltaGen already offer. So mm -hmm. if they came with a use case, a scenario, we say you can use um, these tools, these features in this way. But we, so we suggest features in some rendering techniques. Um, and if something is missing, we work seamlessly with the customer and his scenario, his use case, and we work with the 3D site R&D and the support team to achieve uh, the new needs to improve the solutions. That's so cool. Um, maybe you can uh, show us a little bit more about uh, what DeltaGen is capable of. Do you have something um, that you can share with us? Yes, of course. So um, here it's an example of a module which is name analyzer. So here you have um, your model uh, created. Uh, it's staged, so you have um, a surrounding. So here we are under a cloudy situation. So it's purely a surrounding for perceived quality. And you see here, we can start to um, interact, move around. We can do some overlays, claiming what kind of review we will do. Um, if you have um, advanced surface you want to check about the quality, you can do some light strip, um, also with a point light, just to check the appearance. And here you see we can do some annotations uh, for gap and flange means, for example. Uh, this is a kind of um, review uh, thanks to uh, the module and plugins connected to the to the model and inside the Delta Gen family product. Uh, so basically, you can do classic review or advanced review. Uh, here you have some visibility, so you place the point of view of the driver and you check what he will what he will see, basically. Uh, you can do some sections and you can also do some reports. So based on the model, you will capture, so you will do some uh, notes and then you have a report uh, into an HTML page. It's some capabilities we can do as of today. That's really cool. And mm -hmm. um, before you show us more, we have already a few questions that I would like to answer. So let me, mm -hmm. uh, let me add this one from Jan. How does the logic network works in DeltaGen, such as light logic and so on? 
So you have um, inside the Logic Network Editor, we create some uh, nodes. Um, we create some nodes so we can connect uh, an object into the scene. It could be a light, it could be a materials, um, it could be an animation, a kinematics. And all these nodes, you will connect them together and you will create the behavior of your car. So, for example, if you say that if I play a US car, a US configuration, if I unlock my car, my car will blink one time and the horn, you will um, hear the horn. So you can play the sound of it. If the uh, variance or if the trim, the US trim is displayed. Um, this is how the Logic Network Editor can uh, is connected to the model and can control your model. I hope that answers your question, Jan. Uh, feel free to ask more if you want. We have also some questions in the community. Let me uh, go through them. Mm -hmm. um, so Nick is asking, the interior image looks like a photo. What suggestions do you have to really convince a viewer a computer-generated image is a photo? Any tips and tricks to share? Um, there's a lot to do. Um, if, for example, we take this example, uh, this interior, um, all the content uh, you saw in the video or the images here, I computed straight from Delta Gen. There's no photo retouching. There's no run the pass and then go into Photoshop. Um, what you have to do, I would say that you have four, uh, four, five pillars to create such realistic um, renderings. You need to have calibrated materials. So thanks to AXF file from x -Ride company or DSPBR materials, which is across uh, the CG industries, you create physical accurate settings of your materials. It's one thing. Then the surrounding, the light condition. So when you stage your model, you need to have a nice HDRI file around, which will illuminate your model. It should be well calibrated, and you should put the correct luminance. Inside Delta Gen, some customer has requested to put uh, looks and needs value from your um, surrounding. So if here we are under um, a sun condition, we will send 10,000 lux from the blue sky plus a directional light, which is 100,000 lux. You create the realistic luminance from uh, the sun. The third pillar is to create physical camera behavior, like your real physical camera, and you define apert uh, aperture, shutter speed, the EV exposure. So you will capture light your eyes, or you will perceive the model. Um, one thing also, uh, when you create uh, your ray tracing and global illumination content, thanks to the Stellar Engine, you have to put the right settings to be sure you have realistic model render with correct performances. But of course, um, you don't want to, uh, to take ages to, to, to compute uh, any images. Mm -hmm. So here you see the combination of all these uh, pillars, materials, light condition, render settings, camera behavior. All of, all of this, you create this kind of, of, uh, of renderings. And here, um, using the Logic Network Editor, you see we create some animation on the wheels, we create some motions, we press render, we capture a specific frame of a video, for example, and you get uh, this kind of uh, realistic uh, and, and, and stunning renderings. Yeah. yeah, they are really. We have even more questions, John would like to know, how does that gen differ from XStudio software uh, visualize and live rendering by Katya, especially live rendering? Can you explain that? Um, with <coughs> Delta Gen, um, it's two different solutions. Delta Gen, you get your data, you convert, you can one master model. It's, it's very uh, something uh, which represents a frame or a final product or a stage of a design engineering process. Uh, then you have um, the Stellar Engine to render locally on the computer, uh, but also you can use distributed Stellar to use clustering system. But you are the owner of your, your, your cluster. With XStudio, it's a different way. So you use also data connected to a PLM data system, you um, filter, you have your model, and with XStudio, you will push um, a request to a cloud server, to a cloud system, and you get your rendering um, at the end, which means you are not the owner of, um, 
um, the hardware. It's uh, it's a services on the cloud, so it's two different way. But it's using the same the same um, Stellar engine and the same rendering techniques behind. Thank you, <clears throat> Jan. Feel free um, to ask more questions if you have any. Uh, we have one more questions in the community. Mm -hmm. um, VR is well established now, but how about mixed reality in Delta Gen? Um, as of today, um, <clears throat> we have VR solutions. So let me let me show you. So what you see here, it's it's um, sorry. What you see here, um, it was on the all the time of Delta Gen, all time today, 2021X. Uh, we support um, HMD like um, um, HTC Vive, the Vive Pro. And soon, very soon in April this year, we will have mixed reality. We will support the Vajo uh, XR3. I don't have video to show today, um, uh, but in April, you will be able to watch display and uh, to blend your model with um, watching your hands, filming. We will have a depth um, depth sensor, uh, so we will be able to see. You will be able to see your body uh, with your your environment around and your three D model project over it. So soon we will do uh, a what's new on Delta Gen twenty two X, and uh, I will demonstrate this to you. We, uh, you can find uh, this uh, again in the community. So we will um, tell Post. you in time so you don't miss anything. That's really cool. I, I really like this, <clears throat> this solution. And uh, what I wanted to point out, because you have been speaking about the surface refinement checks and so on. So yeah. we can also say that um, Delta Gen is connected with ISMSurf, so you can do real-time rendering on your item surf data and review the product in real time. Exactly, exactly. From item surf, we have a connector to uh, to Delta Gen. In okay. item surf, you you decide uh, the model, your configuration, your RMS session, and you have to clean. It's a, it's a simple press. You push data into Delta Gen and. Delta Gen will gather uh, the model uh, on the scene tree on the left. Um, uh, material will be automatically updated. So we have a live update uh, features. And then you will be able to go for this kind of um, uh, surface check with some light stripes. And you will define this, of course, sections. Um, it's it's really used uh, some a lot of our customers having ISM surf. They just purchase Delta Gen. And we have this connector. It's very um, straight away we have templates you click you push you visualize that's that's really cool um i would like to mention again that you can join our community to ask more questions so even if this talk is over soon um mm -hmm. we invite you to go to the community it's the katya creative design and styling community you can ask questions to ugo and other experts and we will answer them afterwards mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you don't miss anything, and you can also watch the replay in the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, one one nice use case that I want to, to, to show you, it's live visualization. Yeah. So we, we work hardly with three uh, major um, manufacturers, and we implement a um, request to get this kind of physical-based render, renderings. So um, with Stellar Engine, we will produce every, any kind of optical-based um, uh, results. So you see here we have... Uh, uh, um, chromatic aberration, uh, we have the correct luminance, physical glow apply onto it. And mm -hmm. thanks to the Logic Network Editor, we are able to reproduce this kind of dynamic turn indicator and all the behavior of, uh, of a lamp. So here it's a result and we, we save a lot of time of, of cost research. You see here with some flying cameras, we integrate IS file from supplier. So we display how it will, uh, the lamp will look like. Interior mode lighting with uh, reflection, welcome scenario, correct luminance from the screen. Everything is now integrated into Delta Gen. And it's two years we improve again and again the solutions. And we have more new to new rendering techniques which will come uh, in the uh, April release this year. Cool. We have one more question here. How mm -hmm. we export to GLB5 from Katya? 
Uh, GLB5, uh, that's uh, from Katia. That's a good question. Uh, um, we have to investigate about that. Uh, I don't really know. Um, on if we we stay into Delta Gen um, product, uh, you can export many kind of file, um, especially FBX file if you want to feed some uh, um, other solutions uh, straight from Delta Gen. Herr Daipal, maybe you can join the community and um, Ugo can answer this question later in the mm -hmm. chat in the community. Okay. If we have, uh, if if you have any more questions, please um, feel free to to ask them now. In the meantime, I would like to invite you. We are on tour this year, so we are touring through Europe, through six destinations uh, to show our all the Katia creative design and styling, ISM Surf and Delta Gen news uh, to our customers um, and newbies. So if you would like to join us, um, let me introduce the roadshow to you. I am really looking forward to see all the people back finally in a physical event, not virtual anymore. And I'm really happy to have these roadshows up and running now. Um, we have some uh, one more question here from Nivas. Is any mm -hmm. library available for Katya Automation? Mm, Katya Automation? Uh... Can she tell us more about what she, she claims as Katia Automation? Is it about Katia modeling solution or, or we integrate Katia data into uh, Delta Gen? Because if that's the case, or we integrate Katia, um, we can we have so Delta Batch solutions, which allow to convert automatically data and create the master model. And this will define all your model uh, have uh, its finest of the selection of the face, all the UV, so the mapping of material will be applied, which material will be applied onto geometries. All of this can be automated into Delta Batch, yes. Okay, I hope that answers the question. And if not, feel free to go back to the community and ask more. If we don't have any more questions, um, I would say thanks a lot, Ugo. Great that you have been here with me again. That yeah. was our second talk, I think. Yes, it was a great talk, yeah. Before. Yeah. And uh, then um, I would like to say have a great day, evening, afternoon from wherever you're watching. And we see you back here on April 12th to the next Katya Design Talk. And meet you at the roadshow. And meet you at the roadshow. The link will be posted in the chat. Bye-bye.